Who wants to see something cool right now? Pretty intense. I have been looking a little closer at the array mesh drop down and let's let's get into it real quick. Okay, so uh, BZM Shift F to CR polygons. Okay. Uh, split. Split that way. this way and let's divide right there split right here split right here pretty intense now one right here okay now alt alt drag alt Okay. Whoa, whoa, okay. Alt. Alt. Now I've got all the sides. F. Okay, now right click on a polygon. Make sure Q mesh is activated and a single poly. Okay. And click and drag. Just like that. Okay, now we're done. Our sub tool is totally complete. Now shift to frame a direction. Now turn array mesh on. Now this is really, really cool. Transpose, make sure you're moving. Click in a direction and move in that direction. Let's hold shift just so it's straight. <clears throat> now append new. Okay, let's move in this direction. Okay, and then append new. Now let's move in this direction. Pretty sweet. Now we've got a little cube. Um, we are going to play with our stages now. Okay, so the first stage is right there. Second stage, right there. And third stage was moving up, just like that. Now on the second stage, I want to increase the repeats by one. So three, enter. Pretty sweet. Uh, let's see. Four, enter. Nice. Now they are almost connecting. Uh, four, four point five. Now they're connecting. Okay. Now let's see. Let's go to stage three and repeat it 4.5 see what that does whoa holy crap now we have some walls oh let's let's move this up to six repeats uh, seven okay that works now they are connected oh that is so cool do you know how long this would take to model normally forever sweet okay now before we move on I'm going to show you a little bit more of the array mesh box. Okay, this this little box is home. This is where we do all our cool stuff. Now, right now it is offset or it is we're offsetting um, the repeating action stuff. So I I think we can change the amount <laughs> to get really crazy results. Whoa. Now we've got stairs. F to frame. Holy crap. Uh, let's decrease that a little bit. And increase the... Holy crap. F. Isn't that sweet? Whoa. Okay, now let's go to... Let's see, which stage was it? Uh, was it? I think it was two. Stage two. No, no, no. It was the first stage where we moved it from here to the here. Let's repeat this. Increase it. Now we're going to get stairs. Holy crap. Well, that works. Isn't that sweet? Cool. Okay, now let's go to rotate. Now in the x-axis, 
I'm not quite sure what X is right now, but we can find out by moving this slider up a little bit. And look what it is doing. Holy crap. It is so excited. It's dancing all over the place. Isn't that sweet? Okay, you can turn this all the way up, and then you can adjust the X profile. So this is zero, and this is... Or, I'm sorry, this is the first uh, subtool we have, and this is the last subtool. And I want the whole thing to change right near the end. Okay, so right near the end is when it spikes up and it starts to rotate. Just, just like that. F, okay. Now, I want... I still want the end to rotate but I want somewhere in the middle to rotate as, as well so I'm going to select right there and then right here boom so right in the middle <laughs> it's gonna rotate like it is isn't that sweet whoa okay let's try reset okay now repeat and Holy crap, what did I just do? Isn't that sweet? Whoa. Pretty intense. Let's reduce the repeats. Holy crap. I am loving this tool. So we made one little sub-tool, and we have created this thing. Now let's um, adjust the rotation of another axis. So close. Let's see. Um, let's adjust the Y. So rotating. Oh, that's interesting. It rotates them left and right. Okay. Sweet. Okay, then Z. Whoa. Pretty intense. Cool. Now we have a wicked, uh, wicked uh, texture that we can use in Photoshop. Isn't that sweet? I like it. Okay, let's frame this and stay tuned for the next video, everybody, because I'm having lots of fun exploring um, array mesh and just what it can do. Thanks.